Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between JJ on the left and Viking on the right. JJ flying his own version of the Rebel B4 ship Rebels. He's got two Y-Wings, Dutch and a Grey Squadron Bomber, both with Proton Torpedoes. He's got Braylon Strom naked, and then he's got a decked out Hef Tauber. Those unfamiliar with Hef, if... He, if you bump into him, so if he moves and causes you to bump after an enemy ship executes a maneuver, um, you may perform an action. If you bump into him, you give him an action. Um, he's going to intimidate you if you stay there. Uh, he's got Leia because he's a U-Wing. Um, fire control, so if he target locks, he can keep it around. Uh, if he only rerolls one die. And Cassian Andor. Now this, this is my favorite part of JJ's list. Cassian allows you to guess the dial of an enemy ship at range 1-2. You get to guess the bearing and the speed, so I mean you guess the dial, and then you get to look at it. If you are right, you can change your maneuver, but no matter what, you get to look at the dial. So it's kind of like a nice informant. You, it's not on just one ship like informant is, so it's kind of like sense I guess, um, but you don't have to spend anything. So I think Cassian very underrated. Uh, it, it takes some planning. You need you need to think about your maneuver and who you're choosing and what you would do if you guess correctly. So you, you want to guess the maneuver that you don't think they're going to do because that's the one that you want to respond to. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of strategy and fun that can be done with uh, Cassian. Um, then he's got the, uh, the Y-Wings with Proton Torpedoes. Dutch is going to be handing out those locks. On the other side... Anakin with a regen R2 astromech, mace um, with Delta 7 just like Anakin, and then two naked torrents. So yeah, uh, we've got mace moving up the top, Anakin moving up the bottom, and it looks like these two uh, gold squadron troopers just gonna keep smooching. Cute. Uh, Vecna in the chat says, I guess I've been out of touch. What's the deal with the bounties? So, bounty matches, um, players build lists around any one of those cards. Uh, if you win that game, um, you collect on the bounty and get a certain number of points. Um, I keep track of those points, and at the end of the month, we will add up all the points and see who the top bounty hunter is. And award them. No, that is remarkably vague. It is new. It is in the nascent stage. So we're still uh, figuring out all the details. But yeah, you collect on the most bounties, you're the top bounty hunter. Bing, bang, boom. Base is technically off the board. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, he said he's uh he barrel rolled there, so it shouldn't have allowed him. No, he he banked three, boosted straight and barrel rolled. Yeah, it shouldn't have allowed him to barrel roll. So that's a uh, that's a program issue. All right, thanks for the uh, thanks for the eyes there, Atreides. <laughs> Lou enjoying all of his emotes. <laughs> he deployed at a forty-five and rolled off. Yeah, yeah. So totally not his fault. The uh, the program should have caught that and not let him do it, but. 
Sometimes it's bounding boxes and that sort of thing. Makes it uh, all the more exciting. Who'd have thunk you'd be fortressing down here with torrents? <laughs> He says, does the program read the board edge? Yeah, this is not to my knowledge. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't know that. Would it not tell you if you go off the board edge? Okay. You just got to do it the old-fashioned way with your eyes. Dow's going back down. Let's we see Braylon facing the bottom of the board. I don't think he wants to go fight Anakin alone, but maybe he wants to discourage Anakin from just rolling up behind him. But I also don't think the Gray Squadron Bomber wants to go one on one with Mace. So I'm not really sure what the right call here is. I think Mace or Dutch. Does he have a clear lane there? Probably. Could go one... F well, that wouldn't get him close enough to Mace. Uh, let's see. And I'm pretty sure JJ has initiative. So we'll see Dutch move forward. He probably needs to do like a four if he wants to hand off a lock to the bomber. Unless he does something really, you no. Know, I was thinking about a coordinate, but it wouldn't work. Goes for the lock. Interesting. So that means Dutch is not going up there to give it to him, maybe. There's a two bank from Hef. Might coordinate a focus to one of these two. Nope. Takes his own. All right. Dutch will three slight, three slight, or sorry, three straight. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, but he's not giving that lock because that guy already took one. So maybe he'll give one to Hef if he's in range. If Dutch is in range for the target lock. He needs to do the same maneuver that the Gray Squadron did a three straight. That still might not be close enough. I think a four is red on the Y-Wing, right? Ooh, and look at him. They're breaking it up. Two hard turns from the troopers. Another two hard turn from Braylon. Is he going to barrel roll back to take on Anakin? Nope. Interesting. Doesn't go for the stress. He sees that he's not fighting these guys. Maybe he doesn't think Anakin can reach him, but he sure can. He can get across that board. He can come up with a four boost barrel roll. There's the three straight from Dutch. Ugh. All right. Yeah, I, I think this is I think this is too far. Takes a focus. I think that's smart. 5 forward from Mace gets right in the face of the Gold Squadron bomber. Now he knows he can't barrel roll, because that'll go off the mat. And he's... 
Hey, Lou with the subscription. Thank you, buddy. I need to uh, see if I can find the subscriber goal. We're at 28 of 35 until we get our next emote. Sweet. Lou with the wait 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 are you this are you a tier two subscriber? Throwing out the Enriques, the heroes. <laughs> I was planning on that being the um, the heroic emote. Anytime somebody blanks out, you throw up the the Enriques in the chat. <laughs> Lou is the hero we don't deserve. Yep, I can be your hero, baby. Yeah, this is tough for Mace. Viking's gonna think about it. He knows he can't go this way. Going down probably hurts him more. He can't go... F I mean, he could, he could boost right. If he just doesn't want to engage. Nope. Barrel rolls down. Now he's only got two force points. He could boost into the side of Dutch. Yeah, you can see him drawing that that bank in. He might be facing this rock next turn, but I might bait out a uh, a stop from Hef if he's here next turn. Might sloop. Yep, he's he's just adjusting the uh, the boost here. Alright, so he boosts in. Dutch is going to get a shot range 1. Just with the focus. He's going to take two shots, it looks like. Alright, a 3 bank out of Anakin. Spins one and boosts in, it looks like. Yep, takes a target lock. You know, Anakin things. Alright, Anakin, range three. Don't think it's obstructed. Alright, two crits. Spins a force point for hit, crit, crit. Now the B-Wing does have four shields, so shouldn't hurt too much. There's one evade. He is Braylon. He can reroll the blank. And he forgets it. Whoops. Uh, so, JJ's fours are gonna go. I'm gonna attack Anakin here. Two focus results. He's got a focus. Gonna reroll the blank into a hit and spend it for three. Now, Anakin's only got one force point, three dice, one evade. Spins the force, takes one. All 
All right, looks like, ooh, one hit and three focus out of the... Wait, doesn't... Did Dutch not have anything? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, no, he didn't. Okay, uh, one hit and three eyeballs out of Mace. He's got two force points. He probably doesn't want to use them all. Looks like he spins all of it into Dutch, who takes two shields and a damage. Ooh! Is that what I think it is? Blank and a focus. And he doesn't have any force points, so he just has to take all of that on Mace. And that is half points on the Delta 731. The first points on the board go to JJ. Wow. It was a great job from Pink getting past two of these arcs, but he spends all of his force points on this attack on Dutch and uh, pays for it. All right. So the gray, the uh, gold squadron troopers definitely going to be involved in the fight next turn. Let's take a look at their dial. Oh, you know what? These guys already put all the dials out here. Let's just uh, try to figure out who's who. Well, the one talons and the two Ks are definitely B wings. The Stop maneuver is the U-Wing. And this is the only thing left, the Y-Wing. It does have a 4K. That's what I was wondering about with Dutch. Or, uh, yeah, Dutch and the Gold squ or the Gray Squadron. Not Dutch. Gray Squadron might 4K or might just turn in to engage one of these uh, Torrents. If we look over here, the Sloops belong to the Aether Sprites. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Ah, uh, look at that. Beautiful. Um, I don't, I forgot why I was even looking at this. Uh, oof, boy, Mace. <laughs> now, Braylon, does he turn in towards Anakin? Does Anakin try to sloop? Probably not because of this. Might see a stop from Hef. Three bank out of Gray Squadron. Maybe just a two forward out of Dutch. They can nuke one of these Gold Squadron troopers. Maybe a stop from Hef to threaten Mace here. Does Mace dare do a three sloop here? Don't think he can fit here. I almost wonder if you stop Hef and turn left. You know what? He's going to Cassian. He'll Cassian Mace. He'll do a stop. He'll Cassian Mace. And depending on what Mace does, he'll turn the Ewing. Oh, man. Cassian.
Lay a zero. Head will turn right. Turn right? This way? Cassian is before Leia. Uh, why would that matter? At the start of the activation, you may spend three during this phase. I mean, he has to, he can't, the problem is he'd have to do a stop maneuver because he couldn't, it has to be the same bearing and speed. So if he wants to do a zero, he has to do a zero. There's, there's no other zero speed maneuver to do. So he's going to dial in a zero, Cassian, and then that will determine when he moves, which direction to turn. All right, JJ, calling out Cassian. Uh, Atreides says Cassian can turn to any, if the Chosen should... Let me set your dial to another maneuver. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm reading here, so you guys can see this. I was reading the part above that. Uh, I guess allowed a sp uh, bearing and speed, look at the ship's dial. If the Chosen ship's bearing and speed match your guess, you may change your dial to another maneuver. That is a good point. Doesn't stress you or anything. So he could dial in Mace Windu, hard left two, is what he guesses. So Mace is going to expose that dial. It is a 5k. Does that fit? Hmm. Maybe he wanted that. In case Hef stops, he bumps. All right, there goes Leia. Uh, Apollo says it'll fit. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe. Let's see, does he close his wings? Bearing and speed. Oh, interesting. Sorry, there, there was discussion in the uh, in the room about whether you need to guess a direction or whether bearing and speed just means a too hard turn and it can be in either direction. Bearing equals direction. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just learn to English, Scott. All right. So looks like a looks like four forwards from both of the. Troopers and focuses. So they're going to take their pot shots there. Dutch does a 4k. Oh yeah, it is uh, it is white because of Leia, so he takes a target lock. Maybe gives one to Hef. Yep. Oh, he, he has Braylon as well. Wonder if that means Braylon's gonna bank up here. Gives it to Hef. There's a one bank from Braylon. So he knows Mace is gonna be up here. Goes for the failed barrel roll and takes the stress. Mike says, bearing, each maneuver has three components, speed, difficulty, and bearing. Bearing is an arrow, other symbol. Each bearing is also defined with a direction, including straight, left, or right. Oh, thank you. Oh, it does fit. It does fit. Apollo, 
calls it Wow. All right. Mace has two force points back. a stressed mace for now, but he's going to get a range one shot into Hef. Hef was looking for that intimidation block, could not get it unfortunately. And Anakin's here to follow up as well. Might be worth focusing, he's only got one. Well, maybe a target lock and one force point is alright. Goes for the focus. Ooh, looks like two blanks, a hit, and a focus. Spins his focus. Not much reason not to. Hef rolls a single evade, takes one. Ooh, the Proton Torp is real! Now it's going to be single modded. Alright, 4v2. One hit, two focus, and a blank. I'm gonna spin the lock on those three. This will be a crit. Oh! Look at that! Three hits and a crit. Two of those are going through. There's a blank and an eyeball. He's got to spend that force point, right? Yeah, otherwise he's de uh, he's dead no matter what. Cause he's on hull. Yeah. Wow, Dutch. Single modded torp. Gets through, disabled power regulator is the crit on Mace, but he is gone. 62 points for JJ Rockin. Alright, so now it's Braylon's turn. Braylon's going to shoot range 3 into the trooper. Let's see. Looks like, oh boy, two hits and a crit into the Gold Squadron Trooper, one evade. Spins the focus, maybe? It looks like he's taking hit crit on the Trooper. And that is Loose Stabilizer on Trooper number one.
All right, here comes the uh, range one. Looks like four. Ooh, boy. Into Hef, who rolls blank focus, spins the focus, takes three. And there's half points for Viking, 29 points on the board. Mace goes down, but he takes a few points with him. So, Gray Squadron Bomber, yeah, you can either shoot range 2 obstructed 3 dice, 2v3, or range 3, oh, this is probably obstructed too, so yeah, definitely want to shoot the guy closest, nope, he's going to shoot into Anakin, so it's 3 or 3. Hit crit, wow. One evade, he's got one force point, spends it. I think I like the taking a shot at Anakin, but I, I think I'd prefer to shoot the ship with mods that's about to shoot yourself. Um to try and focus strip. So Braylon with two, or Hef with three. Braylon's not at half points yet. I think you shoot him. One hit. Braylon's got two dice and a reroll. All right. Range three versus Braylon. Focus and an, a blank. Gonna reroll both of those. Braylon's ability, he is stressed. Rolls and evade, and he is safe. Alright, this will be range two into Braylon from the second gold squadron. Two hits. There's some natties for the Gold Squadron Trooper. Gets an evade, takes one on Braylon. Not quite half points yet. Alright, and back to dials we go. Take a look at the points here. We've got 29 to 62. JJ currently in the lead with 39 minutes left. Anakin can certainly get some work done here. But uh, I think now that Mace is gone, these, these rebels are going to definitely turn their arcs around on Anakin. And Cassian's going to help him do it.
So what do you think? I mean, does Anakin dial in a three sloop? Because he can't risk another stop here. Hef is not stressed, so he can easily... Hmm. Maybe you dial in a too hard. Guess a sloop. Well, then if he 5Ks, you'd still want to stop. Probably a one bank from Braylon. Although that's easily blocked by these two. Could hard turn. This Grey Squadron Bomber has to move before Dutch. So that's a bit of an issue. Maybe a two, maybe a three bank from the Grey Squadron Bomber, and then a one forward or a one bank from Dutch. That gets you guys generally facing this way. Oh, man, if Anakin just runs... can't get a... the u-wing with with cassian you can definitely get pointed in the right direction with the y-wings you, you got to commit here you got to think is anakin one hard turning or is he running or is he slooping Too hard left with Anakin and boost left. Yeah, that's definitely an option. These guys are both twos. The bomber moves first. I don't think there's any blocking in here. And you're not too worried about this. Not yet. Although it could definitely be a turn. Where, uh... Where these guys... Don't worry about Anakin and turn in towards the gold squadron. I don't know that you want to do that right now. Hmm. All right, let's give Anakin back his force point. Braylon's the thing because there's no there's no Cassian pilot here, so he's definitely gotta keep that stress around. I think we'll see two maybe a one bank here from the trooper. Yeah, here's the trooper. Yeah, they got plenty of these. You could really just get up here in their face. Could do something weird with a two bank and an evade barrel roll, but that just, that seems bad because then you don't get, if you block Braylon, then you don't get to shoot anything. I think you try to block Braylon and shoot at Hef if he stops. Use the torrent with a crit. What is that? Loose stabilizer, right? After you execute a non-straight maneuver. Okay, well this is, you know what? He wants to do a straight maneuver. Let's see, that guy is at three out of five health, so he's not half points yet. So doing a non-straight maneuver would, uh, put him past half points. I think 
he wants to two or three straight. Dial's going down for JJ. Looks like everything's dialed in here for Viking. This is this is complex, man. Anakin can be in a lot of different places. And it'd be a shame to let him get out of there for free. Could be a regen turn for Anakin if he wants to run. He could regen a shield and, and get out of here, but you probably want to save that. I mean, it, it's good for turns where you don't have a good engagement. There's not a clear engagement for you. Um, could definitely go straight or too hard turn and get out of here. Well, let's give Leia back. Cassian on Anakin. Let's see what this bad boy is. Once we see this blue hand move. Ooh, he's, he's guessing the turn. Okay, hard one turn. It is a 5k. So he will be able to remove his stress. Hmm. So Hef isn't able to turn to change his dial for that. Alright, so it is a stop maneuver from the Ewing. Hmm. So in order to turn ships in... Oh, there we go. K0 in the description of the ship in order to turn it around. So the, uh, the wings get closed on Hef. TE4 or TR4, okay. So it looks like he turns to the right. So yeah, he's giving up on shooting Anakin. And he's going to take some pot shots here.
All right, here comes the target lock from the Gray Squadron Bomber. Puts it on Trooper number two, sees that that's most likely to be in Proton Torp range, not this one. All right, here comes number two. He's thinking about activating one first, does it with a three forward. Now he says he's going to eat some torrents. Yep, torrents, that's what's for breakfast. Thinking about his action, he does have a barrel roll if he wants it. Could flip his crit. Goes for the focus. I think that's the safest thing to do. Maybe he was looking at a possible barrel roll to get out of... Oh, Braylon it hasn't moved yet. That's right. Um, there's the two bank here and a focus. Too hard, does bump from Braylon, keeps his stress, so that works out. Two bank from Dutch, so if you know Anakin's going to be here, yeah, I think that's the right call. Anakin can probably easily um, get rid of his stress and barrel roll, but this is going to force him to do something. Oh, nope. He's going to... He takes a target lock on the bomber to give Braylon a lock. Three squadron bomber. Or maybe to give Hef a lock. No, that would be... That would make more sense. <laughs> There's the 5k. He'll be able to use his ability. He's only got one force point though, so he's going to be pretty... Uh, he'll get to take an action. He won't... Actually... He couldn't barrel roll. No, he could barrel roll as his action. That's right. He could, he could spin the force point. He wouldn't get fine-tuned controls. He'd have to barrel roll as his action. I kind of wish he did... Lock Anakin. Oh well. But I do like this. Um, I think you can shoot into the Gray Squadron Bomber with Hef and Braylon. And then if this guy is gone, Gray Squadron gets to shoot at the trooper, number one. If he's not, we get a, a, a Torp here. That's smart. He says maybe he thought Anakin would be out of arc, or maybe he just went. I, I, well, I mean, I definitely thought that Anakin would be in arc, but would get rid of his stress and then barrel roll out of arc. But I didn't think that, oh, that would be better for you defensively, because then he'd have nothing. He'd have no mods. All right, here's a range one shot with a focus. Did Anakin spin the force? Yes, he did. Sorry. There is a blank, a focus, a focus, and a crit. Probably gonna spend it. Nobody has locks on him. But yeah, this is where, man, if he had locked Anakin, this would have been a really big decision, or he wouldn't have even had a focus. So there's hit, hit, crit, and this is a stopped U-Wing, so it's only one die. And that's all, oop. Get out of here, blindfold. Um... That is all going through on Hef. Hit, hit, crit, and that could kill him. It is a fuel leak, so it doesn't kill him, and it's honestly not that bad.
All right, maybe Dutch. We'll get a, uh, a pot shot here into Anakin. I was going to shoot the B-Wing first. Yep, that makes sense. This B-Wing's only got one shot. Four dice range one. Hit crit. Uh, it doesn't even need to spin the lock. He's got his ability. He still has his stress. That is two hits and a crit, so the crit's going through no matter what. Two dice from the torrent. Gets one evade, takes hit crit. And that is number two. Let's see what that crit is. <laughs> takes the bounding box instead of the, uh, the damage here. A direct hit. Oh, no. Puts him, uh, puts him past half points. But I guess at least it's not a... Weapons failure yet. 29 to 75. Alright. Range 3 into Anakin. One crit. Anakin's got no mods at range 3. Could blank out. Could get a focus. Nope. Gets double evades. He's fine. Alright, Hef, gonna take his shot, range 2, 3v2, Hef did get that lock from Dutch, oh, doesn't need it though, gets the natties, two dice, one evade, takes two, and that is a dead gold squadron trooper, before he can engage. Oh no no, it's uh they're they're all twos, so he will get simultaneous fire. Um so now it's the gold the gray squadron bomber. Alright. Into the gold squadron trooper. Three dice unmodded. Two focuses and a blank. Spins it. Oh, did he have a focus? No, he doesn't have a focus. He target locked. Nah, so that's nothing. Because he spent... Uh, his action was to lock this guy. Number one, gonna take this range two shot into Hef. 2v1. Can he get. Ooh, there's a crit! Oh, and that is a dead Hef no matter what. So they get some points. Hef is off the board 58 to 87. Alright, Gold Squadron Trooper number two could shoot into Braylon and get him off the board. Or get, get him half points. He just needs one damage through. He's got to focus. Oh, yeah, it looks like he removed the wrong torrent. Hmm.
So they're just going to move this model over to where the other guy was and then move the damage cards. Okay. So they're going to engage with this one first and then move him into the other position. It's a convoluted thing. Um, that's what happens when you delete your ships instead of moving them off the board. Oh, with the natties! Hit, hit, crit into Braille, and that's going to be half points no matter how you cut it. Braillen taking a shield, a damage, and a crit. Oh, sorry, just a shield and a crit, that's right. And that is fuel leak. 87 to 82, suddenly this game is a lot closer. Anakin still has a lot of work to do, though. All right. So what's this guy got? Number two. Let's rename this. There we go. All right, now number two is the one with loose stabilizer. So he's still got that. He hasn't removed it yet. Let's see, we've got... We should have two charges on Leia now. question is, can you get this bomber into a better position? You know what, he could, he could K-turn the bomber. And that would cover this area, you know. Um, and then one bank Dutch. I think this trooper, well, he'd have to damage himself. I was thinking you need to block. You know, he could move up with a straight maneuver and then barrel roll. It might get him past, actually, though. Turn around. Well, that would be a non straight maneuver. Let's see, that's two, three. That's three damage cards, so he's definitely. There we go. That's five hole, alright? Yeah, so he's he, he's got more points. 80, uh, 82 to 100. 13 minutes left.
It's a tough one. Could sloop with Anakin. Could hard turn. No more Cassian on the board, unfortunately. And this is crew Cassian, all right? That's that's the Cassian we can all root for. And he's gone. Can you fit a too hard in there? I don't think so, right? No, you'd be like right there. All right, 12 minutes left in the game. Braylon is still stressed, so he won't be doing any turnaround maneuvers. Oh, we don't have any Leia either, so. That's a good point. I'm going to have to get rid of that stress the old-fashioned way. Maybe two forward and a target lock. Yeah, you don't want Anakin getting free shots on Braylon. Yeah, Maui in the chat saying, Anakin, going to be much harder to kill box without Cassian and a fourth firing arc. Yeah. Can you imagine how frustrating it is to be a PS6 ace and your opponent just gets to look at your dial in the system phase? And he's got three ships with repositioning abilities. And one ship that can turn around 360 degrees. <laughs> Alright, looks like both are ready. Here comes the bomber with a two hard. Don't think... Oh! Look how wrong I was. goes for the focus yeah that tells you Dutch is gonna try and give him the lock there's the two forward from the trooper now let's see did JJ see this block coming this is not a stressed Dutch so he's got plenty of things he can do if he just plans to move and target lock He could do the barrel roll into an evade. Problem is, yeah, well, if he's here, does that block? It should. Or is he already in a blocking position? I think he is. goes for the evade. Is that a red? No, he's got a white evade. Okay. He's not a quad jumper. Three forward from Braylon. Gets out of the fray. Probably wants to go for a lock, but not necessary. Oh, no. He gets rid of the fuel leak. Okay. Two bank. Ooh, Dutch. You legend. Goes for the lock, puts it on Anakin, and gives it to the Gray Squadron Bomber. Anakin should have the tools he needs to avoid this, but... Uh, is he looking for a 5k, maybe? All right, Anakin's got one force point, let's give him that.
does a one bank. They should just be able to boost and then barrel roll, get a side shot into, well, would he want to barrel roll? Would that get him too close to this arc? Barrel roll boost. Alright, goes for the bank, goes for the uh, boost left, so he's still, it looks like he's still in that torp arc, can he, he can't get out of range, and then forward would still put him, I don't know that there's any escape from that torp. Now he's saying he can't get out of arc. So he spent his last force point. And he barrel rolls. Oof. He has zero mods now. So now he's just going to try and... Barrel rolls backwards. Okay. Maybe, oh, he's trying to get into range one to deny the torp. Here comes the range one into Dutch. Dutch has got five hull left. It'll be 4v1. One crit. Can Dutch evade the crit? He cannot. He takes it. And that's half points. 108. Pink Viking in the lead right now. Gets a console fire. And that will go off this round. And here's the roll for console fire. Takes a hit. Yep, on a hit result, suffer a hit. So that, uh, that attack into Dutch, worth two at this point. Um, alright. Nothing for Braylon. So that is range one into Anakin. Three dice. 3v2. Gonna spin the lock. another hit and spins the focus for hit hit crit now Anakin doesn't have any mods here he's out of force points and he rolls double blanks so that is something going on the hull that he can't regen and that looks like wounded so he's gonna have to roll for any 
Um, any actions? Uh, so I think we're going to see a run and regen Anakin. I think Braylon's going to turn in. Actually, maybe it's better for Braylon to Talon. Or 2k. Because Anakin could definitely hard turn up and run. I think that's probably the best option. Is Does he have a two, 3 hard? Those are not the dials I'm looking for. These are... Uh, no hard three, so hard two could get him in here with a boost. Oh yeah, two minutes left. 108 to 141. You're right, time is against him. Let's see, if he got half... JJ would only have 100. Okay. He'd have to regen twice and keep the torrent alive. Yeah, I think the real goal here is to kill that Gold Squadron Trooper. He's got loose stabilizer. <laughs> I think you turn Braylon around, probably with a 2k, and that gives you the ability to pursue up here or down here. Force Anakin to keep running, don't let him engage. Now Anakin could just turn around and try and PS kill Dutch. That's totally viable. Dutch is on 3 with a console fire. Yeah, you could sloop over this way. All right, there's the time. So this is the last round. Now that... One hard turn from the trooper takes a damage. Trooper number two. So he's down to one. I'm going to take a range one shot from the uh, from the Y-Wing. There's the one Talon from Braylon. One Bank from Dutch. Flips his crit. Alright, let's see if Anakin went slow. Or if he went for a Sloop. Sloop might still fix. Fit. Oh, it gets the 5k. Nicely done. Dutch still has the lock. So he spins his force point to take a focus. Rolls of focus for wounded. Alright, Anakin, gonna shoot into Dutch. One, two, 
One hit and a focus. Dutch is on three, so it can't kill him. And I think that's pretty much GG. There's no... There's no way to kill Dutch or score points. And Dutch gets the BM Natty Evade. Oh, boy. So Dutch is going to get a range one shot. The thing that we have to realize that's hard for the players is, like, we have perfect knowledge of the points. We have a, a calculator doing all the work for us. Two crits into Anakin, and that is a dead Anakin. Oh, boy. Alright, that's it. Thanks to the players for playing. Thanks to everybody for watching. And congrats to JJ for taking it home. That was a tough match. Uh, well flown by both. And thanks for the bits <laughs> from Mexwing Rookie in the chat. That's going to do it for this episode. Till next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.